But I just got the message what this story was good for. Yeah, that I care. He saw I care. Look, the woman who told me I gotta go see Andy now, living in her fancy neighborhood house. Why was I there to begin with? I don't really know. No, I, I didn't really know her. I was standing in front of her house. Something was up. I don't know. I was new in the neighborhood. I know. I just drove around and uh, I don't remember what it was. Something. Same woman was walking that very particular Halloween I walked with Megan and the buyer. Whereas, you know, this woman is stupid and vain. They're like little machines, American machines. And now, because she's stupid and vain and lame, well, she has no friends in her neighborhood. She has to downsize to go to the not that fancy neighborhood, yeah, where I lived, in Megan. And Megan was not pretentious, too. She was an easy target. But then Megan, of course, she also wanted to something. And the Me Megan then, she has to pretend that she cares. So, so two people running around, one presumptuous and lonely, and the other one has to pretend that she cares. You know how vain that all is? I was silent the entire night walking that dumb Halloween. Yeah, and the buyer right behind me. He didn't say a word. He was muted. He was always muted. He was a mute buyer. Unpassend. It just nothing stimmed. Nothing was right about that. So Andy would pull out events. He would pull out events where people could play bands in there. He would pull out wine tastings, anything to get the community over to a supermarket to buy, to create personal lassos, links, so people would feel almost obligated to go visit him now. Or go there. Or maybe not obligated but invited. Something like that. It's PR, public relation. On steroids, that's what he did. So he got to know the people and he got to see the people. And yes, I went twice. And then, I, of course, other times I walked by because I went to the market. And then Matria sent me to walk by again and again and not engage. And then whatever I did, I did. Natural. And he noticed, he noticed, of course, that everyone is vain, but Zilke is not vain. Everyone doesn't give a shit and Zilke cares a lot. Well, look at her eyes, how she looks at me. But I tell her about my daughter or about whatever issue I'm facing. And then he maybe thought he told me more about his wife. He never did. But I got the whole picture because I look and I care. So yeah, this star, yeah, maybe he was looked at me. I was, he wasn't. He was a subtle dose. He would have kissed my feet. I think he did right there. You look like a movie star and kiss my feet. Thank you for allowing me to talk with you. Because he meant it like the other couple meant it. Who else says those things? They only do it for licking, but there was nothing to lick. You already know me. I'm not a lickable person. I'm a likable person. Because I don't go for bullshit. This is 
my freedom.